Okay, Chantal Boss, licensed mental health counselor, joining us today. Good to see you as always. You as well. Why is it so important, Chantella, to take care of our mental health? Well, you know, it sounds cliche, mindset is everything, but it really is. When we don't take care of our mental health, other aspects of our life fall apart, as well as our physical health. So when we have a mindset that is healthy and happy and productive and positive, there are so many things that we're able to achieve, to do. We're able to deal with situations that are extremely stressful in a healthy way, and we have better overall physical health when we have strong mental health. Well, here's the thing, you know, when, when the number of coronavirus cases were, were, was on the rise in central Florida, a lot of people were wondering, oh gosh, when things reopen, are you going to be, are you going to be too scared to go out? Are you going to be too nervous to, to leave your home? Well, now that they're on the decline, we're kind of at that point where things are starting to open up. Hair salons opened up recently. How do we adapt to the new normal and things reopening? Well, you're definitely right. I think we're all a little trigger shy and we're a little unsure. So I think it's important to note that and to just be aware of what our comfort level is. There's no right or wrong way to deal with this. It's more being in touch with emotionally where you're at. You know, if your friends want to go to the restaurant and hang out and meet up and you're not comfortable with that, that's okay. It's okay to not be okay during this time. And that really basically means we don't have to do everything everyone else is doing. We can take care of our health in the way that's best for us. And what's important is just to notice if there are any signs where we may be declining in our mental health, because this whole pandemic has been very stressful overall on everyone, and the anxiety in everyone has risen, no matter who you are, because we've never been through anything like this before, and this is a stressor that affects us every day. So noting if we are becoming more stressed or anxious than usual, becoming isolated, becoming extremely fearful, or having crippling anxiety is very important to see if we need to seek out help or try some alternative approaches to dealing with that anxiety. Well, and that's what I was going to ask you. You know, I, there are people who can handle who can handle stress a uh, little easier than others. Um, mm -hmm. But you know, normally one of the uh, one of the signs that you always said to look out for when we've when we've spoken in the past before the pandemic was being isolated. We're isolated now, so how do I know uh, if if the, the feeling of isolation is because of the uh, stay-at-home orders and the sh uh, sh uh, safer-at-home orders versus uh, the isolation feeling of isolation when I need to get help. Well, physical isolation is different than emotional isolation. So we can be physically isolated and be emotionally connected. And obviously there are so many ways we can do that. So if we are feeling like we are able to talk with our friends, connect with other people, express ourselves and be supported emotionally, we are not isolated, even though physically we may be. But if we are feeling like we don't wanna to talk to anyone, we don't wanna connect, we aren't interested in maybe the things that we used to be, or we're starting to think very negatively, then we are definitely becoming socially, emotionally isolated. And that's when we really need to seek out some help, some therapy, teletherapy is very important in those times. How do we cope moving forward? Well, that's a big question, but I think for all of us, we have to really focus on what can we control and what can't we control? And the things that we can't control, how do we learn to let go of those? How do we practice mindfulness and being in the moment and trying not to always look at the ever-changing things that are going on in the news? We have to keep up to date, but we don't want to consistently be on hyper alert. So really focusing on what we can control now, even journaling, taking time for ourselves, exercising, going outside, spending time with our family maybe. We haven't had as much time in the past and we're all home now, the kids are home. So there are a lot of things that we can do to build and strengthen our emotional ties even though we may be separated physically and that can be a great support during this time. Licensed mental health counselor Chantella Boss, always good to talk to you. Great uh, conversation and of course we know we'll have you back. Thank you.